This video will cover removal and reinsertion of EEC pins. Depending on your application, it will be necessary to move some number of pins from their original location. For example, on 1989 to 1995 F-Series trucks, three pins must be removed from their original location. First, begin by noting the orientation of the connector in the factory ECU, or our ECU for that matter. The factory ECU is numbered with pins 41, 60, 20, and number 1. I recommend that prior to getting started, you take a black sharpie or similar and mark position number 1, position number 20, position number 60, and position number 41. After doing that, you may set the ECU aside. Your ECU may have this cover plate on it. Um, all of them I could find in the junkyard were already broken, but they're held on with these little clips. If yours is not broken and you wish to retain it, pry this end of the clip up on either side and simply pull this plate off. Next, we need to remove this little red uh, um, retaining clip. This is what actually keeps the pin locking features from being released. You may take either a small screwdriver or a pick tool and pry up in this location, prying the locking tab out. Move to the other side and do the same thing. After you get the locking tab that far out, you likely can remove it with some needle nose pliers. You shouldn't need to get very rough with it. Just firmly grab and pull. Note the orientation as it will only go in one way. Set aside. Now, we, we need to release the locking feature, which is down inside there, it will not show up on this video, uh, in order to remove a pin. We're going to remove pin 41, which is, or pin 42, pin 42, which is one of the pins that you would need to move if you had an 89 to 95 F-Series truck. We need to identify pin number 42. So we look at our markings, and we see there's position 41, so we know 42 is right beside of it. We will take the tool that was provided in your kit, and we will fully insert the pin all the way as far as we can. It's already inserted, but to release the locking feature, it must be fully pushed in in order to release it. Take the provided tool, sliding the provided tool down the front, and release the locking tab. After releasing the locking tab, you may you will be able to pull the pin out of its location. If the location we wish to insert this in was open, we would simply insert it in its new location and we would be finished. On these applications, when I say these, I specifically mean the um, late 80s to early 90s trucks that this most likely is going in. The ECU faced the engine, and it had this plate on the back of it. This is not installed in most car applications, but is installed in truck applications. And the purpose of this plate was to seal the location of the unused holes since this faced the engine bay. We have to remove, we have to drill this plate away in order to insert a pin. So the pin we move from position 42 will be going in position 18. We find our mark for 20, 20, 19, 18, and notice we do not have a pin in this location. We will take the drill bit provided with our kit and install it in a uh, hand drill taking extreme care not to get the drill bit wrapped up in the wires we will place the drill bit roughly centered 
between the existing holes. The drill bit is oversized. The hole location does not need to be exact. Carefully drill, taking your time and ensuring you do not damage any wires. It will be very obvious when you go through. Do not force it through any farther. And you can see the location of the drilled hole and you can see how easy that was to do. Now, there is a plug that was previously attached to that plate that must be removed. Take the push pin included in your kit, slide down in the location the pin would go in the spot you just drilled, and firmly push out. You will be pushing the plug out the back side and you will see something like that come out. If you don't see that come out, the new pin will not go in. After removing the plug, simply take the pin you wish to move. If necessary, you may need to reroute some wires or, or untangle it. Um, in this case, um, we're going to push this wire up and route it with other wires going to a that location similarly. This isn't an exact thing, but you simply push it in. You should hear it click. We may not hear it click on video. And after doing that, you repeat this process for all wires you wish to remove. I recommend doing this one at a time. After finish, take finishing, take your red locking tab. Carefully line it up. Remember, it will only go one way. If it doesn't go in relatively easy, it may be upside down or you may not have gotten pins fully inserted. You should be able to easily push this back in with your fingers. And it's reinstalled. The pin we moved is in there tight. And if you wish to reinstall the plate that you removed earlier, and installation is simply the reverse of removal. And this concludes our pen moving tutorial. For any questions, please visit stingerperformance.com.